Yes, lads, so let's get stuck into the Champions League draw because it has just happened for the quarterfinals and the semi finals as well. And just tell me down below in the comments what is your predictions for the game. Of course, we already know what the draws are, so let's just go through them quickly here, right? Yo, do you play FIFA 22? Yeah. Is your team bang average? You absolute pathetic piece of. You say that to the viewers? No, obviously. Ah, okay. I mean you. Do you face teams like this? You can't keep getting away with it! Do you know there's a way to get coins? Why are you shouting at me? <laughs> then go to usurvive.com for the cheapest and most reliable place to buy your coins on FIFA 22. Link is down below in the description. And also use code VISA at checkout to get a discount. So of course, we got Chelsea v Real Madrid. We got City v Atleti. We got Villarreal versus Bayern. And Benfica versus Liverpool. Now... The, I find it's quite interesting, especially the, the, the first two games, because, I mean, to be fair, my mind is all about that City v Atleti game, because for me, that is such a, a proper, like, true contrast of footballing styles. I think that'd be a very intriguing game to watch, because I can't really... I, I actually don't know who can win that game. I don't think it's as simple as City will win it, because Atleti is, for me, the worst possible team to face City. I think they're literally the perfect contrast of what City struggles to play against. So, we'll go into that soon, but that is the draws, as you already know. So, tell me down below in the comments what is your predictions for the quarterfinals, and we'll get stuck into it. So, of course, I did my predictions with John, JCC, about a month ago for the 16 and this is the scores of what we got. So, out of each game, if you count a point for getting the correct result, a point for guessing the correct team that went through, and two points extra for guessing the correct scoreline. I got 15 and John got 12. I guessed correctly that Villarreal was going to knock out Juventus. I'm very happy that I guessed that because um, I got a lot of people giving me, you know, having, having a go on me for that one, so I guessed that correctly when, when John predicted Juventus. I also predicted that Real Madrid go beat PSG and knock them out. And I guess also a correct scoreline and 3-1 in second leg. And John also predicted that PSG would go through. I predicted that United would go through, which of course they didn't. And we both also predicted that Benfica would get knocked out and Ajax would go through, which of course didn't happen. So those are the ones which we got wrong and the ones I've got right. I'm happy by the fact that I guessed Villarreal because I just felt like with Juventus, they, they were a team that they were there for the taking. That's kind of what I felt like. And, and Spanish teams... Never doubt Spanish teams. Like, they, they're always just, it's either technical, pure, like, brilliance, or absolute despicable houses. There's no in between. That was what we did for the round of 16. So, I'm quite happy with how I did. Um, I, sh I did say in the video that Aleti would probably win 1-0 at the second leg. And I, I bottled it. And I, I believed in the Ronaldo hype. And I thought that maybe Atleti go 1-0 up and then Ronaldo bring it back and some madness will happen. Of course, it didn't happen. So, I, I bottled that. So, I'm sorry for that. Let's start off with Chelsea v Real Madrid. The first game um, of the draw. Um, I don't know how long this video may be. I'm just going to talk about it for as, uh, for as long as I feel the need to. For me, I, I, I don't want to say it because I feel like it's not a good thing to say, typically. But I can imagine these being low-scoring games. I don't know why. I feel with Chelsea, they can't, with Tuchel, cool, it kind of makes sense that for a game like this, they're going to try to, like, scrape, like, for, like, a 1-0. And just, you know, defend first and then try to hit them on counter. Uh, that's how I think this game is going to go, and I think it's going to be a very, like, high tactical game of of just trying to not lose almost um, on Chelsea side anyway. With, with Real Madrid, I don't know, I can just imagine this being low-scoring games. I, I just, I can't really imagine this being high-scoring. I just can't. I, I, I wish I could, because it's football, and you don't want low-scoring games like nil nils But I can see a nil nil here, and for the first leg, it's at Stamford Bridge. I think it'll be Real Madrid. I think it'll be Real Madrid. I think the first leg will be a 1-0 Madrid. And the second leg, they go, to, they go to Santiago Bernabeu. I think Chelsea will score. And then I think Madrid will score again. And I think it'd be, I'll probably say 1-1. One, one. I, I think it'll be a low score. And I'll say 2-1 to Madrid on aggregate. So yeah, sorry Chelsea fans, but I'll say Madrid for that. To be fair, Chelsea can, well and truly, they can surprise us and knock them out because they've done it before. They have done it before. Literally, like, last season, I think. Last time round. But I just... I can't see it happen again. So, that's what I'm going with. City v Atleti. You may have already got where I'm going with this because I said what I said earlier. And I think Atleti would do it. I, I feel like uh, with City right now, they are in a bit of a shaky you know, patch right now. Of course, they do play in, like, another week or so time. But I can see Atleti being the perfect style of team to frustrate them mentally, physically. And I think Simeone would, do, you know, would get one over them. I, 
I, I honestly, I couldn't even really imagine a Atleti or City game. They're both very two different teams. It's such a contrast. And I can see this being just a very interesting game of football where Atleti will probably be defending for a good chunk of the game. But that is exactly what they love to do. They love to frustrate. They love to defend. They're, they're basically the Spanish Burnley, you know, and that, or the better version of a Spanish Burnley. They can, they can actually defend a lot better now and actually, and actually score goals. So, I'll say Atleti in the first leg at Etihad will probably get some sort of draw. For some reason, I don't know why, but at Etihad, I feel like City aren't that good. I've realised that, that at home, City doesn't seem to do that well, like sometimes they do a little bit, but I see them like get draws and I think they even lost to like a weird team in the group stage at home as well, I know that they were like already through that stage, but like they drew to Sporting Lisbon as well just last time and they, they beat them 5-0 in the first leg, maybe the game was already done, but I don't know man, I can imagine Atleti maybe even winning that game, I, I want to say a draw for that and then they go, I'll, I'll say a 1-1 a one -one draw, in that game, and then for second leg, I would say that Aleti will probably get another one nil. I don't want to like sound like it's gonna be boring games, but that's just how I kind of see it. Game number three: Villarreal v Bayern Munich. I think a lot of people just guess Bayern Munich here, and I kind of don't blame you for just guessing that it's just gonna be Bayern Munich. I think Bayern Munich are, I mean, it's Bayern Munich. You know, and for the way out, they did a good, you know, they, they did very well against Juventus, and I'm happy they went through. I guess that they'll go through, and they did. However, I just think this could be a one step too much for them. Um, I just, can they do it? They could. I just think it's very unlikely, and I think the first game, it will be possibly... 2-1 uh, win for Bayern Munich. I think Villarreal may score first and then they'd be up against the wall and then Bayern may bring it back. And then second leg at the Allianz, it could be uh, probably like a drubbing of like 3-0, 3 4-0 nil, three, nil Bayern Munich. They seem to do that a lot. I would say 3-0 Bayern in second leg. So 2-1 Bayern first leg and 3-0 Bayern second leg. And then Benfica beat Liverpool. Can I imagine Benfica knocking at Liverpool? Can I imagine that? I'm trying to think of like the players that they have. I mean, they've got a good vibe to them. You know, I'm surprised they're not Ajax. Because Ajax was in, was in incredible form. But Ajax isn't Liverpool. They're not. Especially not defensively either. So, again, I just cannot imagine Liverpool not going through here. I think they'll make it tough for the first leg. I'm going to go for a weird one. I'm going to say that Benfica win the first leg. I think they'll win the... I will go for the same thing I did with the Inter game that I thought Inter will win at home. And I'm making it wrong again, but I'm going to just say it. I think Benfica will do them in the first leg. Only by one goal, actually, like a 2-1 or something. And then second leg, go to Anfield. And I think that it will be a, a comeback. I keep on saying this, and I'll keep saying it until it happens. Because it, it, it always happens at least once. There'll be a comeback with Liverpool. So I'll say Liverpool will win, like, 2-0 in the second leg and they'll go through on aggregate and that is my predictions it's not like the most insane in-depth predictions ever but you're not really here for in-depth football opinions are you so let's just be honest here you, you get you get what you expect here tell me your thoughts down below in the comments I could maybe go through it in depth over my Twitch. By the way, go over and follow me over on my Twitch down below in the description and yeah I'll see you guys next time for another video and stay safe boys. See ya